And over the last week or so, I found myself praying the same prayer unintentionally over and over and over. And whether it was like late at night when I couldn't sleep, whether it was scraping popcorn ceilings by myself at my house, whether it was running errands in the car or anything like that, I find myself praying this prayer a lot and it sounds like something like this. It's like, God, I'm tired and I've run out of solutions. And listen, I don't need you to fix my problems. God, I don't need you to take everything away. I don't need you to make everything better. Listen, God, I know I'll get through it. But God, honestly, I just need to know that this is all gonna be worth it. Like, I just need you to tell me that on the other side of a hard season like this, that I will be better because of it. That God, my pain isn't wasted, it's not pointless. And guys, I share that with you today because I know in a room this size, with the amount of people that are in here today, my guess is I'm not alone in that. And maybe many of you have been praying the same prayer and are wondering the same thing. Is any of this actually worth it? And it wasn't until late Friday night, around midnight, uh, as I was kind of preparing for this sermon and, and you know, writing this sermon that I was reading the rest of this chapter that we're going through today. And I was reading through that and God used one of these verses in James to kind of shake me to my core. He used one of those verses to kind of realign my perspective on some of my circumstances that he used a verse that was written to a bunch of random followers of Jesus across the world some 2,000 years ago to remind me that when I choose to follow Jesus, like my hardship, it's always worth it. That a couple verses later in James chapter one, verse 12, he says this, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has, this is an important word, promised, that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That guys, whenever we you know, stand under trial, whenever we choose to persevere, there is a promise that God has made us that says no matter what you're going through, no matter the suffering you experience, no matter the circumstance you find yourself in, it's always gonna be worth it. That Paul, he says it a little bit different in Romans chapter five, he says this, not only so, but we also glory in our suffering. We take joy in our trials because we know that suffering, it produces perseverance. And that per perseverance, it produces character in us. And that character, it produces hope. And this is my favorite part of the verse. And this hope does not put us to shame ever. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. That listen, when you choose to follow Jesus, your pain, it can have a purpose. And that purpose is often God is creating you into the person he wants you to be. And so maybe this morning, like you showed up and you are exhausted, that you have nothing left in the tank and you've been running on fumes for weeks now that you're out of options, out of solutions, you have nothing left to try, that you spent the rest of the hope that you had coming in here this morning, hoping that if you could just make it to church, even though it snowed, if you could just find your way in here, that somehow, some way, things might just be a little bit better for you. And you're sitting in your seat this morning and you're thinking to yourself the same thought I've been thinking over the last week and it's, I just need all of this to be worth it. Like I don't need it all to go away. I don't need more courage or strength to get through it. I just need it to be worth it. And if that's you this morning, like can I just loan you some of my hope? Can I just give some of that to you? Can I just tell you that this is the kind of place where you should be? That this is the kind of place where you can stop pretending that you don't have to have your life all figured out. You don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to have all your ducks in a row. You don't even have to have ducks, all right? Like this is a place where you can come with all of your problems, with all of your pain, and you can lay it on the table. That I need you to know that things, they are going to get better, that your pain, it can have a purpose, that all of this can be worth it. That when you choose to follow Jesus, while I can't promise you, 
I can't promise you all of your problems are going to go away. I can promise you, you will never have to go through them alone again. But I need you to understand there is a myth in the church today that whenever you choose to follow Jesus, like God is gonna take care of everything for you and you're never gonna experience hardship again. And guys, that's exactly what that is. It's a myth that Jesus doesn't, you know, excuse us from all pain, but he actually promises it to us. That as a follower of Jesus, pain is promised, but it is not pointless. That it can have a purpose in your life, and like I said, that purpose is for God to make you who he wants you to be.